Hello, I'd like to demonstrate a bodyweight exercise, the crab walk. It's a great exercise. You don't need any equipment, and it focuses on your triceps, your core, and your hamstrings all at the same time. There's a little bit of an issue with it. Anytime you do a bodyweight exercise with no equipment, there are some challenges. I want to get you down on your buns. And one challenge is with this crab walk is some people feel a slight negativity in their wrist. So some of you might be strong enough to go up on the fingertips like this. Take your buns up in the air and dig your heels in. This is our starting point. Keep your buns up nice and high in the air. Keep your hamstrings nice and tight by pointing the toes up in the air. Keep your buns up. Once you get to the end of your room, spin around and make it back. Dig those heels in. Nice, short, choppy steps. I'm up on the balls of my fingers. Now, if you don't have that strength to do that and you go down on your palm, you can try it nice and slow. And if there's not too much negativity in the wrist, you'll be okay. Try to go up on the fingertips. Now the tendency when you get tired is for the buns to fall. Really kick those hips up in the hair. That really makes it a hamstring exercise and a core movement at the same time. For you advanced people, you can stay up, depending on the length of your room, and you can make it faster. If you get going too fast, you might fall. Just get right back up. It's a great exercise. It hits your, your triceps, your core, your buns and your hamstring. It's the crab walk. All right, here we go. Doc's going to demonstrate the exercise. All right, at first, nice and slow, Doc. Bend those elbows a little bit more. Keep them bent a little bit. Good. And that's good right there. Stop. Dig, point your toes up, dig those heels in. There you go, good. You're doing great. Let's sit you on your buns and spin you around and let's do one more trip. All right, you're doing great. Get your buns up in the air, there you go. You're doing good. Tempo is pretty good, stop. All right, here we go, last, last round. And stop. Excellent. Great job. All right. We'll stand you up. All right, give us a little feedback. Uh, what, what did it feel like? Any negativity in your wrist? No, it felt good. Probably could do another one or two reps just to push it a little more because it didn't feel like I, you know, it was anaerobic at all. Right. I mean, it's just starting. What, and, and Doc made a good point today. He traveled this weekend. He went to somewhere that did not have a facility. So in California, at an autism consensus conference summit and uh, for three days and didn't have access to weights or fitness facilities, so it was just, you know, a normal house with nothing, no equipment. And uh, so what, what he told me he did was he did three or four different body weight exercises, some jumping, some plyometric, and uh, he said the next two days the muscles in his lower body was were extremely sore and it, hardly walk and a good sore, and that's a good thing. The same thing I tell my clients when they travel away from our facility is do not go to the gym and do what you've been doing in training with us and do something very different. It's muscle confusion. The muscles feel different things and they, uh, they get sore in a good way and that's what we want when we work out. And it's fun too. You can hop up and down the steps at the hotel. You might look a little bit weird, but you can do something yeah. outside the workout facility that's very effective mentally. It's fresh and physically it's fresh as well. So yeah. one of the things I did was to jump squats with weight, uh, picked up some rocks, a big 20 pound rock and just did that and did the walking lunges without any weights, and uh, the flying Romans. Awesome. I think we got some of those videos yeah, up on the Peak Fitness site, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Great job. You guys do have the pottery change. Great job, Doc. Go make it happen.